All right, you guys, it is time for part two of the August bullet journal setup. And today we're again playing with some illustrations. So no stickers. Who am I? I don't even know anymore these days. I even decided to get bangs. So that's what 2020 has done to me. So yeah, let's get into it. And on top of that, as you can see, I am not showing you a recording this time. I'm actually planning out these next three weeks in August on camera today. So I thought it would be kind of interesting sometimes to show you exactly how I move my hand and the pencil and so on. I don't know. We'll try it out. If you don't like it, I can always go back to the recording. So for this first week, or let's say the second week in August, I'm going to continue a little bit of the theme that I had in the beginning of the month, which is this honeycomb kind of pattern. And I thought I'm not done quite yet. I want to expand on that a little bit, just play around with these shapes, place a bunch of them next to each other in a very irregular pattern. And that's going to be my background for this spread. And then I'm going in with a highlighter, coloring these in and deepening up the color. I don't really want to say shading, because as you can see, it's like a total mess. There's no technique behind it other than I don't want to make this too perfect. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I realized that in my last video, when I was playing with these shapes throughout the entire video, I called these hexagons. And I just now realized by looking closer at them, they're not hexagons, they're octagons. So there you go. I really don't know anything. So yeah, let's move on. All right, and now that that is done, I'm moving on to the next page to create the boxes for my days. And I do this on the next page just so I don't interfere with my octagons. This time I got it right. So I wanted to have a white box, a plain blank white box, nothing shows through, but because my bullet journal paper is white as well, I'm coloring this in in a different color for now so I know what I'm doing and then I can circle the whole thing, hit color and change it to white. I always like to do that so I don't get too confused. So I'm copying them into the page and just to give them a little bit of an outline, the white is slightly different from the paper underneath, but it's only visible when you really zoom in. So I'm framing them with some black lines, just placing them randomly here and there. And then all I have to do is put in the days, the numbers and my bullet points. And you will see, I did forget to put in the habit tracker, but later I do remember. All right, moving on to the next week. Um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I did something very similar where I had all of the days on one side of the page and then a big illustration on the other side. And I wanted to recreate this. So I'm building the boxes for my days first. And then I realized, oh, I forgot the habit trackers. Let's just move back and I pop those in like real quick. All right, now back to this week, I have the boxes already set up and now I can focus on the illustration on the other side. And this time I thought I could try playing with some pineapple designs, but we are in good notes after all. So the possibilities are very limited in good notes when it comes to illustrations. I can write about that all day. So for the next few minutes, you will see the ugliest pineapples that you will ever see in your entire life. I really wanted to keep this simple. Well, I really didn't have a choice. Good notes just made me keep this simple, I would say. So I was trying out different designs. Um, I think overall you can tell it's a pineapple, but I was kind of trying to shoot for that philosophy. If all of them are ugly, maybe the whole picture just looks good again. I don't know, you can see for yourself, uh, but at least I didn't erase all of it. So I guess that's a win.
All right, now that my masterpiece is done, we can finish off this page and then we're not gonna talk about it again. Oh, and of course I have to squeeze in my habit trackers. Unfortunately, in this spread, I can only fit in four. So I ditched the reading one, but you know, that's okay. Sometimes these things have to be left out in order for aesthetics to win. Okay, so we're heading into the last week of August and at this point I was so sick of hexagons or octagons or pineapples. I just wanted to have some fun finally. So all I wanted to draw is some clouds. You can't blame me. So again, not a spread that I'm particularly proud of, but at least I had fun this time and it only took like, I don't know, like 10 minutes or what? And here you can finally see what I've been talking about all these weeks whenever I'm coloring in with a highlighter. If I want to have an even color, I do not lift the pencil off of the screen. Sometimes, unfortunately, it happens, so I have to undo everything, but this way nothing gets too blotchy. All right, so that's it for August. Those are the last three spreads to finish off this month. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video as always, especially this one, since it wasn't a recording. I hope you saw everything. Let me know your thoughts as always, and I'll see you next time.